Augusta's first 100 years brought many people to town. They brought with them life and everything that comes with it. Once those lives came to an end in the early 1800s, if you were African American, you went to Cedar Grove. We spotlight the once colored cemetery and show you how without those lives, the Garden City wouldn't be what it is today. Make no bones about it, cemeteries can be scary, especially at night. But when the sun rises, tombstones at this nearly 200-year-old burial ground tell stories of black pride. In 1820, they were running out of space to be buried. St. Paul's in particular, so they decided to open up a city cemetery here. Cedar Grove Cemetery off East Boundary in East Augusta is rich with black history. They just really were the movers and shakers. Augusta set aside 40 acres of land to bury slaves. It was done in wooden boxes, leaving many nameless. Many names are all listed in a record book in the original writing. The book, which survived a flood, tells names, ages, dates of death, diseases, and sometimes if they were slaves or freedmen. The With the help of Cedar Grove's manager, we found the oldest Mark Grave, Sarah Ann Boyer, who died in September of 1823 at the age of 11 months and 17 days. It's just an honor to, to have all this. Cedar Grove was known as the Colored Cemetery before the 1930s, and it's next to Magnolia Cemetery, where many slave owners can be found. Nicholas DeLego, a French refugee from Haiti, is one of them. He owned more than 100 slaves and was considered one of Augusta's first citizens in 1818. Some of Augusta's prominent black citizens now rest among the more than 44,000 in Cedar Grove. The first black dentist and we had you know, the first uh, principal. We found the first black Augustan elected to the state legislature since Thomas Beard, Mr. R.A. Dent. 13th Street was renamed in his honor. And we know some names from Richmond County Schools, Dr. T.W. Josie, A.R. Johnson, and Walter S. Hornsby, who helped start Pilgrim Health and Life Insurance Company as a teenager. It became a top 10 black-owned company in the 80s. Students attend high schools named after these men. Then there's the Amanda Dixon Tumor statue, which tells of her riches after her plantation owner father left her his property in Hancock and Washington counties. They just really were the movers and shakers. and and just, you know, makes, makes you very proud. Now we hope you take time to stop by Cedar Grove Cemetery and then head over to the Augusta Genealogical Society on Broad Street and learn more about the old souls who once called this place home. Back to you.